Well, hello guys, Codeverse here with a 100 hour review of Helldivers 2. Well, what's good in Helldivers 2? Let me show you. You can drop in and shoot some bugs. Or maybe go and blow up some robots. Oh yeah. Maybe grab some exotic weapons. Or call down a strike from your destroyer. You can also try out some different kind of armors. This is like scout armor. As you can see, the armor rating is low, but it has good speed and stamina regen. Next one up, medium armor. This is medic armor. As you see, it has a little better armor rating. That's average speed and stamina regen. And last but not least, we got heavy armor. This stuff will protect you a decent amount, but as you see, speed and stamina regen is an issue with it. The armor not enough? Well, grab yourself a mech seat. This one here has dual auto cannons on it. Let's see what it can do. Yeah, take that! Well, Alright, guys. Let's talk about the bad parts of the game. Oh, we got eliminated. <laughs> so, some of the parts that people talk about a lot is difficulty of the game. So, this game is balanced around four players. If you're playing by yourself like me, you can expect it's going to be a lot more difficult. There's also one of the things that people complain about, that the bigger enemies just target your sentries and take them down right away, making them not very useful. But you adjust your play style and adapt and overcome and experiment a lot. You got in certain situations, certain stratagems work, and certain ones don't. Now, as far as actual bugs in the game, I haven't ran into too many myself. I had a couple crashes. I had one mission nuked to hatcheries that bugged on me. You see here, like with that evac thing, the evac beacon. When you go up to that, there's like a little like computer screen on there. You got you got to punch in a bunch of arrow keys. Well, in this particular mission, something happened where I walked up to it and I couldn't interact. With the prompt was there there's like a little circle that shows you where you're supposed to touch it but it wouldn't work other than that i haven't had many bugs i have a middle of the road graphics card and the game runs just fine on fairly high settings you know i don't know i have a good cpu maybe that's what helps i don't know but like i said other than that i haven't ran into too many bugs you guys have had problems and issues with the game? Let me know down in the comments. Maybe I'll add it into the video later. All right, guys, let's talk about some good things about the game. As you can see here, graphics are absolutely amazing. There's certain places in this game you can go, like the highlights are just amazing. As you see here, we're walking through a nice forest. Here we are going into a sunset. Oh, look at that, how pretty it is. Then here we are on a nice ice planet. The amount of biomes that you can fight on in this place is unbelievable. Like look at this, here we go back to sand. Go from ice to sand, like just like that. Just take my back for a walk here. <laughs> but I tell you guys too, besides the graphics, man, the battle feels really good. When you shoot something, it really look boom, just explodes into pieces. When you're done with the battle there you're just like covered in blood and everything else man it's so freaking cool yeah look at that beautiful screenshot there's like a planet or something in the background with a moon and you can't beat this game for cinematics i'll tell you what well, all right guys i think it's time for my final thoughts and conclusion so i'm gonna give the game 8 out of 10 and I'm going to tell you why. So when you play this game, the cinematics like we've seen before are absolutely beautiful. The gameplay itself as you can see right here is just fabulous. Like you're running around like crazy and things are happening, blowing up in the background, giant monsters are trying to kill you. <laughs> Man, it's just all kind of fun. I'll tell you, this game could easily be a 9 out of 10 if they would fix some of the bug issues and balance 
the gameplay a little better. I've noticed with the gameplay, they go from... There's been three patches since I started playing. And one of the patches they introduced... They turned back the big enemies. Said there wasn't so many of them spawning on higher difficulties. But they increased the amount of little enemies. But what they did was it made it like... Insanely hard because... Even though that they supposedly took out the big enemies, now what happened was the big the big enemies that were left would dominate you because you're trying to deal with all the little stuff constantly. So they actually increased the difficulty where they were supposed to be decreasing the difficulty. But oh well, you know, these things happen. They're not a super huge studio and they're figuring it out. I think this is their first time they ever had a game blow up this big, so these things are to be expected. With that being said, the studio definitely listens to their audience and they have been trying their best to get this game balanced into a place where they, where everybody can enjoy playing. Right now there's kind of like a war between the casuals and the hardcore people. The hardcore people want it harder and us casuals want it a little easier, but yeah, that's how it goes. But hey, I'll tell you what, if you have an extra $40 in your pocket, this game is more than worth it. I've bought it three weeks ago, and I already have 100 hours in it, so that should tell you something. So hey guys, this is Kothos, and I just wanted to say I hope you all are having lots of fun gaming out there. If you decide to take the leap into Helldivers 2, maybe I'll see you in there someday. Goodbye.